uh, I'm Kevin Lin. Um, I'm a film director, a uh, current student at Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. It kind of all started in high school. Uh, I had a class project to do, like a video project, and that was my first time kind of working with film, and it was really fun, so I immediately just like, all right, I'm going to do film. So from there, uh, I guess uh, I started doing little YouTube shorts. Um, they weren't that great, but, you know, it was, uh, it was good practice and experience. Um, from there, I uh, applied to, uh, to Art Center for uh, going to school for film. Um, then started doing music videos, uh, unofficial ones, though. But uh, and that seemed to kind of uh, get me going. So from there, you know, just kind of started doing short films. And now the films are kind of getting longer. So that's really, uh, that's really it right there. Yeah, I started with the screenplay, of course. Uh, I kind of I wrote that in um, a screenwriting class that I have here, and uh, the class really like helped me uh, kind of like find kind of like my voice in in writing, and, and um, it kind of helped me get out of like this creative block that I was having. Um, so with it, it really let me kind of experiment and kind of try different things. Um, it definitely has like a, a influence from uh, Scott Pilgrim and. Inception, like that's what I was calling. It was kind of like this the merge of Scott Pilgrim and Inception, because uh, it's like really trippy and kind of all over the place. But uh, yeah, it was it was kind of funny. Uh, the way I wrote it was I just really wanted to write something that I wanted to shoot, um, and I haven't done any like action or any kind of like any 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 kind of videos or films like that. So I was like, okay, I I, I want to try and shoot this. It would be really fun. So um, that's kind of how that started. Yeah, so I wrote it, um, went on to direct it, uh, I shot it, um, I, I ended up editing it too and uh, doing all the, uh, the VFX, um, so yeah, the only thing that I didn't do was the sound design, which was done by a good friend, uh, Justin Fraker, who like, totally like, killed it. It, uh, it took, um, I think like three weekends to shoot, um, we started with the, uh, the red one, so it was like this giant camera, and I, I totally like underestimated how heavy it was. Like three for me, because I'm kind of like this small Asian dude, so it's, <laughs> it was kind of hard operating that. But uh, yeah, we shot that. Um, there was a lot of locations in um, in Rex and Valens too, because uh, I wanted it to be kind of like new scenery every every time the scene changed. Uh, so there was a lot of like traveling around and trying to get that. Um, the funny thing is though, like you know. As as each weekend came by, we like we started downgrading from cameras to save money. <laughs> so it was like it started with the red one, and then second weekend we downgraded to five D, and then the last weekend we did the seven D. So I thought that was pretty funny. But um, yeah, so it was that. Um, it it was a lot of a uh, handheld to uh, kind of like shoulder rig um, running around with the camera. Uh, I think that kind of that probably helped it give it a little more energy and whatnot. Um, uh, especially like, running through the smoke. Uh, it's funny because I actually lost my voice during the during the production. Um, about halfway through, I got sick and I lost my voice. So that was definitely that was a new experience trying to uh, direct without a voice. Mm -hmm. uh, but it got done somehow. <laughs> the music comes from like uh, you know I got into dub stuff like everyone else. So <laughs> you know I had to use it at least like once in in a film. So I thought this was a perfect chance, you know. Uh, give it that energy, that kind of like power, like that power to it. Um, but yeah, working with Justin, the whole sound design thing, that was pretty cool. Um, I think it was my first time working with, uh, like, you know, with someone who was like honed in on just sound, so I didn't have to do sound for once. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, the music, of course, like I said, it was just kind of like this contrast. Like, I think there's like, during um, like the final scene, there's like, um, you, you finally get to hear the violin for the first time. And that was pretty cool, like coming up with that with uh, with Justin uh, building that, and then all of a sudden, you know, that transitions into like the hard thumping dub stuff again. I, I can see why like some people would be like, you know, you don't need film school, and some would be like, you kind of need it. I mean, really, I I feel like the most important thing that I've gotten out of film school is just kind of like the network and the connections, like all the friends that I've made. And that's definitely like the best part because um, it's always it's often to like work with like friends like you know people that you relate to and all the building this network like this team of people that you can go to um i think that's like probably the most important aspect of film school is just the people you meet and making those connections uh, there's definitely like teachers too like there are a bunch of teachers that will help you kind of like 
your skills. Um, you definitely learn more like actual film business side of you know of making films in in film school. Like you learn all like the the technical stuff, the uh, the jargon, like all this all the lingo and everything too. So you kind of it gets you ready for like you know working on professional sets and whatnot. So I think uh, that that's a big benefit of films. But like as as for like finding your voice, like that still kind of comes down to you. Um, the people here will help you do it, but it still ultimately comes down to you to find your own voice and uh, doing what you want to do. Yeah, so yeah, I just finished wrapping up uh, production for another short film that I just finished. Uh, it's like my second real short film. Uh, it's significantly longer now. I think this one's going to be about 20 to 30 minutes, hopefully. Um, so we'll just finish that. Um, I definitely want to do more music videos uh, whenever I, when, when I get the chance to do them. Um, kind of have a couple ideas already, but uh, haven't been able to like fulfill them yet. But hopefully that will be in the future soon. Um, Career-wise, uh, I remember like setting a goal for myself like before I came came here, before I started the whole film thing, was kind of like, to work on like professional, like to actually do like a big film before 25. Um, so I think that's still the goal is kind of like working up to that, um, to do like feature films. Um, it's kind of daunting right now, but uh, you know, kind of just working it up, kind of step by step, making longer films like slowly as they get longer and longer. And, um, and that's, that's pretty much where it is right now. So yeah, so finishing up this short film and then doing some more music videos and then kind of doing like the step by step longer and longer films. I think uh, that's, that's where my future is headed right now.